hi guys and welcome to my channel today remember this dress from my last video i told you i wanted to work on this design and showed you the fabric and this video is just to show you the update of what happened with the dress what i had for my final product um so this was the pattern after i constructed the pattern all my patterns are usually done from the scratch by myself i don't work a lot with, i don't work with commercial patterns at all really so this was the bodies of um, the dress the upper bit i put in the neckline um, so I'm working with like three ne different necklines and then trying to just um, put everything right You can see showing you what the design looks like here and what I have done now Please ignore the brown tape that I have used on this um, I couldn't find the actual tape that I was supposed to use so the closest thing I could find was my brown tape Which I've used so um, this is just um, breaking out the pattern You can see the boss part has been accentuated which is the curve you see on there and I have done this curvy bit to be on the upper hip because it's going to be for like the inner bit. So the way I'm making this um, dress, I have the bodice which goes all the way to the upper hip. And then I'm going to put a skirt over it, which is going to be from the waist. So it's like two separate pieces that's essentially going to come back together when all the dress is done and the fit is done that's why really i'm working with the upper bit first and then i'm going to construct the skirt which will be from the hip and i'm going to cut that and that will be how the pattern will be now going to the fabric again this is the fabric i'm using just to show you again it's a lovely fabric um but if you look at the fabric on it so you see that it's just a bit it looks kind of dull and this is where you see the power the difference lining makes to whatever fabric you're working with especially with laces so i've chosen to line it with this lovely pink and you see the difference is made such a big difference coming from how the fabric was looking a bit dull and this is just a pink fabric that i've used to line it and it's just totally totally transformed the fabric and it looks pinkish because the bride actually told me she wanted the onion and then we ordered the fabric um she saw it but um i thought it was just a bit too dull and then that's why i chose this pink i had the onion lining which i wasn't really feeling so much but when i put this pink on it it was just like boom i knew that was what i wanted so um going totally for this pink so um this is the skirt pattern the lower bits i was telling you about and this is all done it's just such a long pattern and it's just really wide um i'm just gonna try to show you as much as i can and again please ignore my brown tapes it's not what i'm supposed to use it was just the closest thing i could find and i had to just get the work done on the day and then yeah that's why i got brown all over so the pattern is like really long because it's got a tail i'm i'm trying to show you what the lower bit looks like and i've just tried to follow a nice lovely um pattern i've tried to just place the salvage which is like the more beaded part to be on the lower beat and then follow the sparse um if you look at the upper beat of the pattern which i'll show you in a moment it just sort of like shows the beginning of um the design on the lace and it kind of flows that way it was quite very intentional i wanted that to happen so yeah that's the bit where i'm talking about i wanted that to happen i wanted the design to just sort of flow that way and that's why i placed it pattern placement is important now this is the first bit done which is like the bodies which is like a corset bodies done i love it love it i totally enjoy the process when i'm making a garment i love enjoying the process every step of the way when i finish one bit so this was the corset done loving it i'm just really really feeling it it's so beautiful um fabric placement is very important when you're constructing something and if you notice you see fabric placement is a huge deal here now this is when the bride has come for a first fitting at the studio uh you can see she's smiling so she's happy with it um what i've tried to do is yeah i'm trying to pin the skirt which i spoke about 
to um the bodies um i didn't do it before she came so i wanted to do it on her just so that i can be sure she's happy with everything and that's me fitting the dress and everything on her she's really pleased with it um but there are a couple of things that we need to just get done but what i'm doing first is spinning the skirt on her and then just trying to be sure we have it right on the waist just um the way i imagine it in my head and um yeah so that's what i am doing here and in this fitting as well we haven't finished it at all we haven't put crillonin on the lower bit still a couple more things to do but the focus is just to get the fitting right that's the back i'm pleased with it just a couple more i just meant to do on the back that's what we add and in this particular clip if you um look at it we started to put crillonin already it was still the same day we just made that said for a couple of minutes to get that done so this is the bride again um looking in the mirror to just see um she was a bit worried about her neckline before because she didn't want it to be too low but um she was telling me she was fine with it and we're looking and she was telling me she loved the way the lace was on the neckline and all of that so um we already established the things we needed to do differently or the things we needed to um to um alter on this um dress to just make it perfect for her we only had one fitting because she needed to travel so um everything all done we're still doing more mirror checks. I mean, the bride spent like several, several minutes in front of the mirror. And I encourage brides to do that. Like, just look at it. Check every detail. What do you want us to change? We have like, I just always have a book during my fittings. Like, where I'm telling my staff, let's just begin to write. So just write everything. I ask and ask again. Anything that you like us to do, do you want us to change it? Are you happy? Are you sure? Are you pleased? And here is us doing our sitting check because it's just important. Like if you're wearing a corset, for me, I think you should be able to see. You should be able to be comfortable. I've seen videos and photos of many brides who are not comfortable on the day. I'm like, no, 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 not my bride. You need to be able to breathe. You know, you need to be able to be able to leave. And um, this is after we're done with like the final look on the dress. This is just me um, doing the lacing on the mannequin. And then um, when you're lacing, when you're lacing, um, a corset on the back you know there are different ways to lace it but this is me trying to do the rabbit ears so she can find it easy to pull it when she tries it on so i'm just basically trying to get everything set for us so when she's ready to wear it on the big day because she probably not try it again when she's ready to wear it on the big day she doesn't have to worry about lacing she's just going to pull her rabbit ears and then she will be all good to go Lesson using the rabbit ear method is really nice because all you need to do is pull the upper part and then pull the lower part ropes and then it becomes tighter or it becomes more loose just as you would i mean depending on how you want it to be so it's really good when you do the rabbit ears and basically that's what i am doing in it and tying it everything is going to be tucked in which is the ends of um of um the lacing which is the rope is just going to be tucked into the skirt and then i zip the skirt up and that's it um so dress is all done this is what the back of the dress looks like when we did the fitting i don't know if you noticed what we used was two on the sleeves but we both decided that you know we we're going to be better off using the actual lace for the sleeves and it has come out really nice it looks more elegant i'm very pleased with it and when we showed the bride she really loved that as well so we changed the sleeve and did something else for the sleeve now this is what the front of the dress looks like um this video is not doing justice in any way to this dress the dress is stunning so we've added some rhinestone trimming to the waist and it's just giving it that you know really really nice look um and this is what the dress looks like do ignore the line showing on the waist because when she ties a corset that's all gonna disappear and it's gonna look nice so yeah this is what the final dress looks like again this is the back i really like it it's just simple but gorgeous as well you can see the lower bit now we have put the um us acrylonine in 
and the lower bit is just standing nice and bouncy also if you notice pattern placement was very important and then i was very intentional about how we place the pattern from the bottom all the way to the top um so we also added a couple of extra embellishments especially on the upper bodies area and the dress was good to go so that's it guys that's the process from start to finish and thank you for watching this video with me i remain your girl tolu me and i am going to be seeing you in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed share this video with your friends and again i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching and bye